Hey there, buddy. Johnny Appleseed here. I'm just making myself a little snack. Today, we're going to be talking about an actor from Fairmont, Indiana, and five brothers who started a successful automobile company on Footsteps to Flight. I'd like to begin, but my co-host has not shown up. I don't want to be a sour apple, but I've got things i got to talk about. Hello, Johnny. Uh, I was expecting my co-host, Apple Fritter. Well, she couldn't make it. I guess she was all fried up. I'm the substitute. So who are you? My name is Cornelius, and I'm a corn median. Oh, no. Let me tell you a little something about me. I was born in Corn, Tucky. My mom's name is Candy. And my dad was in the army. Guess that makes him a colonel. I was a big kid, so I guess that makes me kind of husky. My parents gave me a puppy, which I named Corn Dog. I eventually went to college at Cornell, but I got into some hot water, so I left. Then I had a series of odd jobs. I worked at a factory where I tried to butter up my boss, but instead I got king. After that, I went into prize fighting. My first match was with a scarecrow, but it did not go well. I got cream. Uh, could you just grab the pictures over there for me, please? John Studebaker was born in a little town called East Berlin, Pennsylvania. It's located in Adams County, which is one crop that goes really well there. Do you know what that crop is, Cornelius? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with the word blapples. Corn. <sighs> nope, apples. Coincidentally, one of the most famous apple cannings in America is in Biglerville, which is also in Adams County. Maybe some of you have tried Musselman's applesauce. No, that's Musselman from the regular show. You know who likes to make applesauce? My mom. But she uses corn instead of apples. Wouldn't that make it corn sauce? No, because my mom doesn't know how to make corn sauce. Anyways, John Studebaker had five boys and taught them all how to make sturdy wagons and horse harnesses. Eventually, all the brothers moved to South Bend, Indiana and built a carriage for President Harrison. It must have been a rush job that day because one of the sets of harnesses fell apart and all the horses escaped. Oops! That sounds like a corn catastrophe. The Studebaker brothers entered the automobile market with an electric car in 1902. The Studebaker line of cars were very innovative in style and were quite popular for many years. Sadly, the South Bend factory closed its doors in 1966. After the break, I'll be talking about an actor from Fairmont, Indiana. Did you just say something? I can't hear you. Hey again, everybody. James Dean grew up in Fairmont, Indiana, where he played basketball. They grow a lot of corn around Fairmont. That reminds me of my two favorite songs, Corn in the USA and Corn to Run by Bruce Springsteen. I'm surprised you didn't call him Bruce Springcorn. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, James moved to California and studied acting at UCLA. He made his first professional appearance for a TV commercial. A little dirt pick there? Yes. Sorry. The director, Eli Kazan, put him in a movie based on the novel East of Eden by the great American author, John Steinbeck. But then you get the picture of John Steinbeck. Oh, oh, that's a nice what? Picture. What? That's a nice picture. In his next film, James played his most iconic role as Jim Stark in Rebel Without a Cause. This movie was a big hit with teenagers. You know, James Dean is still remembered today. He's an icon of the 1950s like the Studebaker car, Marilyn Monroe, or Elvis Presley. I give up. This is Johnny Appleseed and Cornelius from Footsteps to Flight. I'm hungry. You got any corn?